Hi, I'm Margaret Martin at Miller Guide, and today I'm going to be sharing with you ways of strengthening your knees if you're having knee pain, if you've had any strain, sprain to the knee, where um, even walking on the knee might be painful. This is an exercise that you can do to ensure that you keep your muscles strong uh, so that when you are able to put more weight, when you're able to um, walk again on your knee, that you haven't lost the muscle strength in the knee. It's often referred to as an isometric exercise because there's very little motion that's going to be involved. So I'm going to demonstrate with my biceps and you might even want to, you know, do this along with me. Um, so you know that if you, you know, bring your arm to a neutral position, you can think about imagining that you're lifting, that you're pushing against something and you're not actually pushing against anything, but you're creating that muscle activation. You're recruiting muscle fibers. When our muscle fibers contract, they come in towards one another. We have actin and my myosin um, filaments that as the muscle contracts, they go in and that what, that's what makes the muscle bulge or that you see it activated or contracted. And that's what you're going to be doing with the muscles of your quadriceps. There are the muscles. We have four of them, hence the name quadricep. And they go together to form one main tendon that then goes up and over the knee to attach below the knee. So it's so very important to keep them strong. And all you need for this exercise is two little uh, towels, or I have uh, pillowcases here that are folded up. One I want you to have to place under your knee joint and the other one is going to go in the small of your back. If you need pillows to lay on your back, please use them. But I encourage you to use as little as possible so that you can also work on your posture at the same time. When going down on your side, always come down on your shoulder. Make sure that that support for your low back is where you want it to be. Then roll onto your back. You're going to keep the leg that you're not working. You want to keep that leg bent. Now I want to ensure that that support is behind my knee. Perfect. The reason that this leg here is bent is that it keeps your back protected. When we lie with both legs straight, if you're tight in the hips, you're going to feel that as you're contracting that you might be pulling your back away from the floor and that's going to make you feel really uncomfortable about the exercise and possibly even strain your back. So this knee stays bent and another bonus you can do is just to bring your arms away from your body. All right so from here just as you tightened your arm muscle you're going to envision all the muscles of your thigh all the muscles surrounding your kneecap tightening up. We'll take a breath in. Just by virtue of pulling your toes up towards you, that starts to activate those muscles. And then you're going to think of squeezing the pillowcases or you're pressing your knee down into the pillowcase or the towel beneath your knee and then release. Breath in and blow and release. Breath in and blow and feel those muscles tighten. If you have a family member that can assist even just by placing their hands on the muscle and giving you that feedback, of, oh, you're making that muscle work really hard. That's terrific. That's a great thing to do. Now, you can also do this if you happen to have a lazy boy chair and or if you, you have, have an ottoman when you're sitting up tall and your leg, leg is extended with a little support under your knee, when you do that, you can watch those muscles tighten up. Now when you do that, you want to ensure that your toes are pointing straight, your kneecap is pointing straight to the sky, and so that you're ensuring that you're getting equal contribution of all the muscles of your quadricep. You are encouraged to do as many as you can throughout the day. However, if you have um, been disabled with your knees for some time and you're just starting to build up strength again, then what I encourage you to do is just to start with five or ten repetitions. See how you're doing the next day because I don't want you to do so many that you feel 
that you can you, you don't have the strength to put the weight on your legs that you used to. Some of you might be using walkers. Some of you might be using um, you know, crutches. I don't know what your situation is. So I'd rather that you start slow, you feel confident with it, and then you can progress. So that's how you do an isometric quadricep exercise. I wish you all the best.